Hi, today we are giving a look to another of Zeran widgets, which is called the Tiled Menu, which is actually a widget that I've used for years because I really like its design. It's, I think, inspired by the Windows 10 menu, which I also find pretty. So if we give it a look right now, it's pretty empty. So let's go with the default tile layout because you need to know that it's very powerful and you can customize it in all sorts of ways. So let's pick it up. So this is the default, pretty simple. We can resize it, as you can see, Alt plus right click to resize the menu. And it might be a feature that was actually removed. So I'm unsure whether you can actually resize the applet like that, but if we go into its settings, we can see that it's possible, as you can see, to change it, the width of the sidebar and so on. But let's keep it here uh, right now. We can see that we have a list of most used application and then all apps by their first letter. If we click on the letter, we get back to the list of letters. So that's pretty useful for navigating the list very quickly. Then we can also click on categories, which brings us to the same thing, but ordered by categories. Again, very useful. And then here we've got quick links to documents, pictures, dolphin in general, and system settings, plus power actions. Again, very similar to Windows 10, if you've ever used it. Hopefully not. On the right part, we have the actual menu with your favorite applications and all the categories that you've created. And this is the cool part because you can customize this thing as much as you want. As an example, let's drag in console. And as you can see, all the squares appear to make me choose where I want it and say I want it here. And see make as well, cuttlefish, stuff like that. But of course it doesn't end here. We can also open up the application, of course, but that's not what I wanted to do, sorry. If we right click here, we can see that we can edit the tile with this button and on the left, we'll have all of the options relative to, the, to this tile. So we can make it bigger, smaller, taller, anything we'd like to do. We can also remove the label if we don't like it. Usually I always removed it. Also the icon, although I think the icon is necessary. We could put a background image, but I think the most useful thing is to use this thing. We can pick a color from the application like this one and then, I don't know, make it a bit lighter or darker like this. And we've got a very pretty tile. We can do it for console as well. So let's edit it. The background color, let's go for this gray, but much lighter like this. And let's also remove the label. As far as Firefox goes, it's missing the icon because of some mess I've made with the application files, but let's put Auditube. I don't have Steam, so let's actually have Steam, sorry but let's take it off anyway. And if we edit a tile, we can remove the label. Again, I don't quite like labels. I know the icons of my apps, so let's pick this one a bit lighter, like this. And lastly, let's make this one a bit wider, sorry, like this. This one can move a bit to the bottom and this one can be a bit taller. And then let's customize this one as well. Let's take the label off and I think that this color is fine. And then let's get back to the list of apps. Let's also add Audacity here to the bottom. And then I actually want it to be like this and move here. We can have a prettier color. So let's take the label off, which is automatic for such, um, I'm sorry, for two by one 
widget, so let's take this blue, but again, lighter. And let's make it a bit more light blue as well. Then what else do we have? And actually, let's make it one by three. And then next up, Inkscape. Again, let's put it here. Edit tile, no more label. As far as background color goes, let's pick a darkish, uh, let's pick this one. Let's be consistent like this. And this tile can be slightly less tall. So, whoops, as you can see, we have customized our tile menu to have some very pretty tiles. Like, I love this style. It's very minimalistic and very pretty with all the background colors that are picked from the icon. And we can do something else that I really liked back then, which is to actually take off this section for now. I mean, we can also search. Searching works, you have filters for all kind of key runners, but let's go into settings. And we can actually set the dimension of the sidebar. And if we make it zero, no hurry. <laughs> Uh, with okay so we can't go lower than 24 I think I got the wrong sidebar sorry wrong sidebar I actually meant the up list like this we've got again very minimalistic uh, of course we can edit this one as well and the sidebar will come back to let you edit it so it's like my fat apps because everybody knows that CMake is my favorite application. And then we close it and get back to this normal mode, which is super pretty and minimalistic. I mean, look at the ears, look at this, super pretty. We can also customize the, the size of the search box, which is when you, uh, sorry, when you actually search here, something, hello, it's not searching, okay. Sorry about that. But in theory, when you search, you, you should have the search bar. Did I put it? Did I actually then accidentally remove the search bar? Probably. You know, the back, the back side of very powerful widgets is that it's very easy to mess them up. So we've got also some option about the pop up in general. You can make it full screen if you like this sort of stuff from, for some reason. We can choose the amount of grid columns. Six is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can also choose the tile margin, which is something I had fun playing with because when it's zero, it's really pretty to see all the tiles attached to each other, but I think some margin is just as pretty. And then sidebar, there are shortcuts, we can add them like videos. And then we can do this, which is super interesting as a concept, which is to actually export the layout and like send it to, to someone else. So I can copy paste it. And then if I open up Kate, sorry that I'm using kickoff still, but it's because I'm used to it. You can close now. You can see that everything that we've done so far is back up here. If we ever reinstall tile menu on another system, or if we want to send our config to someone, this is super useful because it has everything. And we can also edit it. So past our stuff. And of course, let me get back. And then we have a section or two, because why not of keyboard shortcuts. And here it tells us that to make it open as default, like kickoff, we need to set Alt plus F1 as any widget. If I put Alt plus F1 to any widget, it's going to open as menu. And that's pretty much it. I think that is really powerful. And back then I had some super cool customizations. So let's actually try to see if I can get them back. User Vajero. So this is a rather simple one. As you can see, I had disabled the sidebar. 
and also added my profile picture. And then I had Telegram, Far um, Falcon, Onboard, Keyboard, and so on, all here. Here, similar setup, similar applications. This one to actually write, Xorno. And uh, you can see that here I had a top panel with a super transparent look because I am very into super transparency, which is why I made Plasma a bit more transparent from, from 5.22 and so on. And then finally here I had a bit more complex look with more application as always sidebar disabled and the super transparency on top plus notifications with this outer line black and my favorite desktop wallpaper of all times. So as you can see super, customiza super customizable you can make it as you want and if you want somebody else to have this exact look just copy paste the import export setting page and send it over to someone else and that's it it's super cool probably it's one of my very best favorite widgets along with the event calendar <laughs>